All right, hello everybody. Skyrim here, back again with another Diablo Immortal video. Here is the Phantom Market in this particular video. Um, we're gonna go ahead and explore this. Um, Raining Harmony Avatar 30 Days changes your avatar image in your avatar frame while equipped. Item deactivates after 30 days. So worth spending that money, isn't it? Now, granted, uh, these two are across all classes, so. There's your guaranteed if you go and dump the, what is it, 170 or whatever it is. But, okay, and then there's Rain Harmony Frame. Then Rain Harmony Avatar. That one only lasts for 30 days. That's messed up. You should never have people spend that much and have a limited time thing. But anyway, let's go into Explore. Guess what I got this time? I did this before the video because I was like, you know what? I guarantee I'm going to be pissed. Got another fucking emote. Woo, boy! I think not! I think not! Time to be spamming this, I guess, considering, you know, I got the damn emote. I was really hoping to get one of these armors. You know, that would have been kind of nice. Even this one, which is the, it looks like the gauntlet armor set. Except with, like, kind of maybe a different armor palette, or a uh, color palette, or maybe that actually is it, with it uh, all put together. Because the weapon looks like the one I have now. Uh, but yeah, so a little disappointed, of course. That was my one and only free draw. Thanks, game. Thanks for nothing. All right, let's get into the appearances here. Not that. Um, where is it at? I, f I found it. I've tried this earlier. Okay, explore. Oh, there we go. Get out of the way. It is here, I think. Oh, here's the video. Cinematic's cool and all, but you know. Now, included features you get a hair toggle. Okay. Interesting. Oh, two different colors. That's it. <laughs> black or white? Well, black or like silvery white, whatever. That's it for that. Movement effect. You get a little trail behind you. Okay. Uh, idle effects in game. You get a little swirl going on with the uh, Jade Mountains. If you want to call them that. Uh, let's see. Cross class cosmetic. Available for all of them. Whenever you get the, the pack or whatever, which people have already done so. Gill Streak UI looks like that. At my fingertips. And PvP kill effects is. The jade little mountain spikes kind of showing up. That's, I don't know, that's whatever, I guess. But here we go. Um, I looked already, I saw on Reddit people talking about them from ones that already had the patch go live before us here. Um, your character does not float in game like this, so don't get your hopes up on that one. Um, it's kind of false advertising in a sense. Uh, if any, And they don't even do this in the inventory screen from what I, I read as well, so... Yeah, keep that in mind, I guess. Um, so don't expect them to be like this. As a matter of fact, I can go to here. Look, see, they're standing on the ground. This is pretty. This is more akin to what it's gonna be like. And then same with this one. She's technically standing on the ground. She's on her tiptoes, but she's standing on the ground. So this is what your character is gonna do, and it's not gonna float. So, unfortunately, don't get your hopes up on that one. Nope, not that. Not that. Here. Oh, I had to press that anyway to get back to here again. Because I wanted to show... Okay, there's the male version. Front, back. Cool little... I do like the shoulder bit with the uh, the moon and the mountains. Uh, and then here's the female version. See, she's floating here, but not in the other one that I just showed that some uh, player has. So, yeah, they do not float. Keep that in mind. Just continue to, uh, okay, now let's go to the Barbarian. Female Barbarian. Here's the front. Here's the back. They get a big sun over the, uh, horizon. Okay. 
Granted, I probably should turn off my cape. I didn't realize it was gonna put that in here. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta turn that off and before I do that. That's kind of annoying. Let me. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's the? There. Oh no 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 this. Uh, oh yeah, remove. Duh. Okay, there we go. Now we'll go back. <clears throat> wow. Sorry, it's a little early. Sorry about that. It's a little early, uh, say the least, on this. The patch wasn't that long, to be honest. Um, um, so yeah, it wasn't that big. It wasn't. It was just these events. Let's go back in again. Okay. There. Now the the, the capes out of the way. Now we can see everything without it. I didn't realize it was going to do that every single one here. Definitely looks, honestly, it looks better without it in this particular instance. So yeah, why would you want to? Yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. That makes it way better. Um, let's see, that's the male version. It looks a little rough. Hair color toggle. Okay, yeah, the white hair. Let's see, Monk. There's not going to be any hair. How are you going to have hair toggle color on the Monk here? I don't know, but what it is. Okay, front, back. They get the big, they get no mountains, but they get glowy necklace, Akuma kind of orbs around their neck, and uh, they get a big sun. Okay. Uh, they're actually, those are water kind of orbs, yeah. BMO version. Pretty much almost the same. No real deviant difference there. Huh. Okay. Demon hunter, female. Again, they're not going to be floating, so get that out of your head right now, unfortunately. You would think that they should be able to, but they're not. Huh. Their jade mountains are lo much lower on the back. Everybody else had them around the shoulders. They got them down to like the side and lower back. What the hell? Huh. Quite an interesting uh, water effect as well, though. Male version, same deal. The things are low. The water is like a river flow. I see. Um. Huh. Yeah. Okay. And then we go on. Let's Seder. Mail. Again, you're not going to be floating. I got, I'm just going to keep saying that. Back. Now, see there, the mountains back up to the shoulder area again, up by the head, actually. They don't get a moon or a sun at all, which is interesting. And I did see on uh, the subreddit that this was kind of glitched out in uh, the frozen tundra area. They showed a picture of the chest and the pants were like black and pink or whatever, just straight up bugged out and then the only thing that actually worked right was the shoulders and the shield and the weapon I think but the chest and the pants for whatever reason were bugged out so that's a problem <clears throat> hopefully they'll get around to addressing that soon but who knows they're all on holiday they probably dropped this and said we're out out of the office off they go uh, and they're like it's not our problem see you in three weeks yeah that's gonna go over real well if they did that um, that's cool looking weapon there. Here's the female version, of course. Oh, I know why they didn't put the moon in because it's basically in the shield, I suppose, in the background. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And see necromancer. Female necromancer first. Uh, hair color toggle. Okay, we're back to the. Oh, I had it on the white. I didn't realize, or maybe they just defaulted. Uh, Necros in the Diablo games have always been given white hair for whatever reason, so we'll just kind of go with that one. But there we go. There's the shield, water orb. I don't know. Some people kind of made comments about complaining about the Necro look, but it's not too bad. You get a um, you get a parasol on the back. That's interesting. Huh. <laughs> I guess it's for your minions. 
Getting bones dry. Anyway. Uh, Blood Knight. There we go. It's the last one, I think, in the list, right? Yeah, it's the last one. There's the male version. Big sun in the background of the Blood Knight, which makes no sense, you think, unless that's supposed to be a moon. But I don't think it is. That would make way more sense if it was, though, for Blood Knight especially. It could be the moon, for all I know. Um, and they also gave the, oh, the white hair color black, what that looks like. And we'll go with that. Right, and then the female version. So that's what you can expect, except for the floating of your character. Do not get hung up on that, unfortunately. If you really wanted that, then I don't know what else to tell you. It's not gonna be in game like this, but uh, if anything, she might be on her tiptoes, but um, that's about as close as you're gonna get. But yeah, there you go. There's all the different looks. All the classes. Back to wizard. White hair and the female. And black hair again. Male. And this. And you can also take off the helmet. Or, wait, no. That's just toggling the hair color. You can actually take off the helmet, which is this masked face. Like this. There you go. So there it is without it. That's my character without anything. And there's with it on. But yeah, alright. Gone on long enough with this. This is the uh, Phantom Market, of course. Still, again, really pissed about the stupid emote. I said I didn't want to get that again, but here we are. Um, I had success in the past with getting new armor sets for cosmetics, so that's how I got a few, you know, different ones is through this thing. But the past two times, struck out. Uh, I got the emote both times now, so I'm a little pissed about that, but whatever, whatever. You're not baiting me in, game. You're not baiting me in. Um, that's that for that. Um, this is the temporary thing. Yeah. The time, the, the time limited stuff is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous for this. That's uncalled for. It's c clearly uncalled for. But anyway, that's what I'm going to leave it here. Um, see you guys in game, maybe, perhaps. I do appreciate it when I just happen to find you guys randomly in Elder Rifts, even. I, uh, yeah, du for random dungeons, it was one thing that was just interesting, but I got to see a couple of you guys run around and uh, catching me in uh, Elder Rifts, even. So that's really interesting. Uh, and it's cool. So anyway, take care as always, everybody. Until the next video here, try to roll out some of the other events and showcase a little bit what they're about and try to break them down i'm going to do the howlers one here soon see what that's about test it and see how it runs and see if there's any tips that i can figure out along the way so until next time see you guys stay safe out there as always in the world on fire Bye bye